So coming March 27th, it's called Preggles Table, and it's happening at Wilf and Ada's on Bank Street with us right now to talk about this amazing event. Uh, how about Alex Preggle? That makes sense because, well, it's the name of your event. That's your last name, and you are with the Sigma Alpha Mu fraternity out of Ottawa University. Good to have you here. We'll talk about why you decided to create this fantastic event coming up in moments, but not to be outdone, Omar Radwan is with us as well, the CEO and founder of Vittel, and you've been on the program before. Yes. Good to have you here. Thank you. We'll talk about Vittel coming up in moments, but uh, Alex, can you tell us, so Preggle's Table, uh, right out of the gate, I mean, you've been doing charity events with your fraternity. Can you, can you tell me about some of your past charity events? Um, so some that I've man, had man myself are just the poppy drives, bottle drives, um, as well as a few other small ones, but um, within the Greek community, I take part in a lot of the large ones we do, such as our own Greek Olympics, which helps Chio, uh, Derby Days, or Relay for Life, which are all the same thing. Mm -hmm. And you've raised a pile of cash over the years. Yeah, yeah, we've been trying. Yeah, congratulations on that. Details on Pregel's table in seconds, but first, Vittle, I mean, you've been on the show talking about Vittle before. Tell us a bit about your, your uh, business. Actually, Vittle is a rebrand of uh, Healthy Meal Plan. That, uh, it's a company that started uh, almost uh, four years ago. Healthy Meal Plan is basically a meal slash catering service here in Ottawa, and uh, we're transitioning into Vittle. Uh, the word Vittle is actually an archaic word that uh, is from the 1700s and the definition behind it is just food. Mm -hmm. We're partnered up with the holistic nutritionists uh, and local top chefs that uh, basically prepare uh, an amazing well-balanced menu uh, that is uh, using only whole foods. Okay. Uh, we also uh, prepare meals in our commercial kitchen and we deliver it daily to your doorsteps. Okay, vittle.ca and Correct. you are a sponsor of this amazing event? Yes, well, we are. I'll ask you why coming up, but first, details in this event. Now, you have uh, a story. There's a reason why you're trying to raise some cash here. Yeah, definitely. Um, all the proceeds are going to the Canadian Cancer Society and it's something that has affected my life greatly. So back in 2004, on March 27th actually, my father passed away from skin cancer. Um, ever since, especially since joining the fraternity, I've wanted to take that negative experience and turn it into something really positive. And now with all the connections I've gained throughout the community and whatnot, I've finally been able to make that happen. Well, oh, that's, that's some story and, and it's really good on you. Do, do you have a, a fundraiser uh, amount that you'd like to, to get to? Through ticket sales and the GoFundMe and the raffle and everything else going on, I'd love to hit $5,000. Okay. I'd be ecstatic. Are you close? Do you know how much you're We're asking? getting close. We're okay. uh, nearing to a $3,000 mark right now. That's still pretty impressive. And I always love this when you can have a fun night with friends and raise money at the same time. So Pregel's Table is happening at Wilf and Ada's, as I mentioned. So that's a legendary spot on Bank Street, 210 Bank. Uh, but not many spots are available. So how no. many seats are there? So we can only fit about 32 people per serving, but we've managed to sell the whole thing out. Wow, okay, all right, so, so it's sold out at this point? Just about, maybe so one or two tickets close. left. Okay, good, because there's still some spots for people tuning in right now. But if people can't make it to the event, I mean, they can still make a donation somehow? Yeah, of course, I have a GoFundMe set up, it's uh, under Pregel's table, and I, I mean, it would be a great, great help to the $5,000 goal. Yeah, so, so um, what exactly will be taking place at this event on the 27th? So it's a three course meal um, prepared by his chefs and my friends, mm -hmm. and Luckily, thanks to his company, every dollar gets to go to charity. Okay. What kind of meal are we looking at here, uh, Omar? Oh, God. Uh, we have um, amazing meals. They're actually, they're well prepared by the chef. So we have lamp and uh, there's uh, uh, salmon and scallops and uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, quail. <laughs> Just all the good oh, stuff. Like, all the good stuff. But they're actually going all out on this event. Yeah. It's funny because uh, when Alex approached our, our head sous chef and uh, he brought the idea to him and uh, Basically, we're supposed to just cater the event, and then when I found out about it, I'm like, no, you know, there's a lot of meaning behind it, and uh, instead of just catering it, how about we just sponsor the entire thing? And mm -hmm. uh, me and my partners, we decided that we're just going to do it, and uh, it's a wonderful. great cause, and uh, we want to be part of it. We want to give back to the community, at least. Alex, I'm not sure if you mentioned why March 27th. So, like I said, my father passed away on March 27th. So, so you mentioned so the date, okay. I know make, you said Making 2004. the full circle, 14 years later, um, like I said, it was the goal when I first joined the fraternity. I wanted to make sure I could either be philanthropy chair or a chair that could make a difference and set up um, an event like this, especially on that date. And it means so, so much to me to get all the support I've gotten from the Greek community, other sororities and fraternities, to finally make this possible. Okay. So how have you received help from the other frats and sororities? Did they just, they knew you were doing this type of event and they, they yeah, were just so there for you? Yeah, um, so I'm quite close with a few sororities, uh, Zy Delta Theta, Tau Sigma Phi, 
um, a whole bunch of those sororities, and they've all helped me just by purch purchasing tickets, mm -hmm. um, as well as quite a few of them have donated through the GoFundMe. Yeah, spreading so the word as well. Mm -hmm. So, so sorry, uh, what year are you at in uh, Ottawa U right now? Art? I've I've actually graduated. You have graduated. Yeah, I graduated. Um, I wasn't even an Ottawa U student. Um, I went to Algonquin for the firefighting training. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but you still became a part of the fraternity. Yeah. So um, we do mostly take from Ottawa U, but we will also take from Carleton, Algonquin. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, now I'm learning here, right on the couch with you guys. Okay. So Omar, obviously, you mentioned the reasons why it's so important, and, and thank you so much for being a part of this. Vittle.ca uh, for you. being one of the main sponsors of this incredible event. Uh, how can people get tickets, Alex, at, or check out? to see if there's tickets available still. So I have the Facebook page set up with the entire menu if anybody would like to go see that as well. Yeah. Um, so it's on Facebook under Pregel's Table or anybody can contact me directly. Okay, contact you directly. And of course, you're always looking for items, uh, maybe yeah. uh, for people, if, if you're looking for items or Yeah, options. I mean, we do have a raffle going on at the same time. There's been a few businesses as well as Vittle who's offering a few free meal plans, Movati, which has given us a free full month. Um, so if anybody does have raffle items, I would, I would <laughs> love that idea. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to put the word out there to see if other people can uh, jump on board. How long will the whole evening be? When the evening's going to go from 7 to 11. All right, there you go. Preggle's Table. Check it out online. Search it out. Omar and Alex, thank you very much for being here thank and raising you. some much-needed funds. Thank you. And thank you, as always, for being here. Have yourself a great day.